in the previous episode. My bad. No. Was he no, still alive? No, 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 what? Way. <laughs> what? No. no. Fuck you, Emily. Die. No, just wood. Oh shit. Oh, we're at the bottom of where she fell from. Ah! Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Why is that even out? <laughs> in history or like what Gosh. all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago oh, no, it is are you kidding me laugh it up. hey babes and welcome back to until dawn we just left off at a very interesting point josh is acting quite like a psychopath which means I'm sexually attracted to him now what nothing <laughs> no I'm kidding but um anyway Oh, we only have a few chapters of this game left, so I know we haven't seen the Wendigo yet. I know that's a thing, uh, but I don't really know anything else. I really want to talk to the flamethrower guy, see what he knows. I'm pretty sure he was just, like, hunting it and he's going to give us the extra information on it. Uh, but besides that, I'm not really sure what else is going to be in store. Really curious to see what they do with our little therapist here. How he's going to be rude to us next. But without further ado, let's get back into it. Until dawn. Ah! Revelation. I'm literally pissed off that she's still alive. She wouldn't have survived. She doesn't have the willpower for this. Oh, there it is. Yes. Get back! Shut the fuck up. No! 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 What did he give us? Use these? Uh, okay, oh. now. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, what is boy. in the bag? Oh, shit. Is it a flare? I want him to catch up with us because I'm like, that's still my theory is that when Hannah and Beth are out there, he saw the Wendigo and he wanted to, you know, be like, why the fuck are you out here? There's some shit out here. And they just assumed that, you know, he was a killer or some shit and then slipped and fell. Whoa. I hear him. I hear the boy. Oh, I did a gap. This is gonna be the yeah, squeezer. Holy shit! Shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I need to stop saving this girl, man. Just, oh. just trip and fall. I want you to die, Emily. Oh my god! He's gonna save our ass again, isn't he? Okay, okay. Step out of the Shit. He's literally like an even more fucked up goal. Go, oh. Crap. Oh, 
He can escape, right? Do we get to play as Josh now? Whoa. You alright? Whoa. Is it the flamethrower guy? Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. <laughs> I got your back. He's like, yeah, you can go first, though. Check that shit out, my man. Is that the flamethrower guy? Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? I think it is. Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want Just, me to take you, the gun. You guys no, can no, see him through no, the blinds, I think though. It's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Let's just go. God, stop being pussies. Oh, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. He's like, what's up? Freeze. <laughs> All right. He's like, bitch, you don't know how to use this. Give me that shit. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here Some to crazy shit going on. What you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsibility. Hey, you hold yeah. on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to oh, hear that. Oh, it's his mountain, sir. Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. Mm -hmm. This it mountain belongs to, belongs to the wind. Yeah! <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. <laughs> now I'm only gonna tell you this once. Oh, his eye looks crazy. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as guilty shit. Guilty as shit of what? Guilty as something. Shh, right? Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. So someone is a cannibal? Yeah. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Forever! Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Yeah, you Where did. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No, he won't. No, no he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. My Josh. No. I'm gonna yeah, go get go him. Get you him. can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. It might have been a fucked up no. prank, but you guys are all okay. I, I don't need your help. Besides Jess. You're going alone. And I'm suicide. <laughs> Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again. I'm well, I'll have the flamethrower guy come with you. Just be like, what's up, man? Let's go. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get oh. Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything okay. I tell you. I wonder if he's going to give him the shotgun. Probably not. Oh, he did. That's this surprising. I don't think he'd trust any of us. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you <laughs> don't. What? How do you I know? I can tell. 
Trust me. <laughs> hey, Ashley, what the fuck? Come back safe. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... I will. See you soon. Let's get out. I gotta save Joshy. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Uh, a billion. Well, you've been shooting it a long time. Yeah. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? Nope. No. Fire scares it, I guess. Down. Well, how do you kill it? You they don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. <laughs> unless you burn it off first. Ew. They like burn their skin and then shoot them up. What are these things like? I wonder if Josh is going to be gone I mean, are in the they shed. Just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Is he still going to like fuck with us? Yeah, I don't know. Some pattern, like any animal. Pro Wendigo tips, like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something. Chris, uh, you're so stupid. You. Anything like that? No. no. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like totally So they can't see you if you're standing Science still. Yeah, he's totally so gonna be gone, walking, right? I'm We're walking in, invisible. and it's not yeah. showing us the right angle. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless Josh, no other choice. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Damn it! What happened? No, oh, he's, he's not gone. dead. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Don't go. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. Yeah. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. Fuck. Piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs. One. Was Josh's fake time. body up there on the wall? So the launch then. I don't know, I need to see. Might still be near. I swear I saw it. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. Wait, are we playing as the Flender again? No. Okay. All right. This should be interesting. Wait. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Still. Very still. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh man, I bet he would have survived too if I He's didn't move. Yours. I was trying to stay are so sure? still. What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Yeah, that's the key. Josh. Josh does. He's gotta have it. Josh. One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Yeah, you need to go then after it then. We're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, Mike the hero. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, too soon. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. Down where? You were? I oh, it plans. is. Like I knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. I'm just saying. Oh, the mine. It's weird. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? This entire experience has been weird. Here. You guys know what to do. Yeah. Oh, well, he's going back down there. Okay. He's gonna find Emily, it's right? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Where the fuck is Matt? Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Kind of a. Uh... Hey. You okay? Haven't seen him in a while. He's right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. No, it, you stepped on a stick and he died, yeah. so that's awkward. Yeah, he's definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. Is that the mythical like book? Like Please, someone read that. Like, 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 a, like a person, only... But just d distorted somehow. Come on, Ashley, read it, please. Okay, so... This guy had a cannibalism on a human is desperate and craves food trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms and he's eaten nothing for many days. The Wendigo spirit will begin to possess them. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be saved. A, a, a craving for flesh. And then the change begins. The eyes turn fierce and and become milky and white. Te the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature gallows and the skin is pulled across the bones. So, the, a wendigo is basically someone who ate another person and then just became possessed? It's a little strange. Let me just pause for a minute. <laughs> it was here I had a revelation in my life. Holy shit. Hannah's the wendigo. Because, like, when she fell, she must have lived, and... Oh my god. <laughs> she must have ate a piece of Beth to, like, survive, and that's li That's why her head. And she had a grave. Because the flame girl guy wouldn't have known her name. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, I don't... I literally don't know how I didn't catch that earlier when we were actually looking at Beth's grave. Fuck. And continue. <laughs> there was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of the creature born in ice. There's a lot of history to this. The tribe respected the mountain, all animals lived on it, become scared to the Cree. Every animal became scared. Also, the Cree. It was bad luck to harm any animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In, 19, in 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and ladder, traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree says that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. So is the Wendigo, like, bad for them? It's just like a, um, car like, not karma, but like, I, I can't even think of the word right now. It just says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Because they're human, right? Um, if you were to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain, and they cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce through their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Ugh. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death release releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have continued them. 
I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps are baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. So, glad we read that. Because if we kill them, it'll probably just end up worse for us. Cree legend says that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. That the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. So the only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Um, oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Yeah, this is some Shit. bad news. <laughs> We've got to get to Pike. How do we even, now. like, is there going to be, like, just a ton of cages with a bunch of, like, Wendigos in it? Because I, this going to be fucking bad. Oh, Joshua. So it is Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur mm. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger <laughs> to help someone else Sorry, I didn't like Emily, so it's good. Remember last year, huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? Hey, you did nothing to help Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. Oh, fuck you. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone this terribly douche. wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. I'm here for you, Josh. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Because they are Joshua, me. why did you hurt them? I didn't hurt anyone. Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends. You misled them. You lied to them. And you put them through a night of genuine horror. But they're all okay. It was just a game. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. So what is my deep fear? Isolation? And that is where that episode ends. It's been such a struggle. I just need to play and play and play and play and just finish this game. But I hope you guys are enjoying. I mean, this therapy session I think is, is really cool. I I had like a thought because in the beginning, I don't think I ever said it um, while I was playing games because I had the thought like, oh, is Josh the killer? And then I had that thought literally in the episode that he died in. So I never really said anything else but then I'm like oh I wonder if like Josh is the one sitting in the chair which is kind of like you know if he's the killer but um <laughs> it's ah yep <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying until dawn just as much as I am um if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button Today down below I make videos three times a week on this channel and I'll see you in the next one bye I want a little figurine of the window. Yes. <laughs>